This was the internet before, before the internet. This was how you discovered listings of records that you could purchase. It was a much simpler time, and a new 90s-inspired coffee shop is taking you there. But that's not even the best part about Congress Coffee. It's a new space for artists of all mediums. Pre-internet opportunity, where the coffee house was a place where you came together, you met with your friends, you learned what was going on in your community, you created things that were happening in your community. Why not have live music with your coffee? Nicholas Papai does community outreach for the cafe, working to fill this space with music, art and events. This stage here aims to fill a gap in the city and in its own unique way. So I really like it when artists would come in and they enjoy a space that they're in and a, a feeling of uh, creativity that goes along with, you know, just being comfortable and that is something that's not really been offered uh, too much lately. Located in the Greenview community, it's a coffee shop not lacking personality. And while the 90s have largely inspired the cafe, it's these posters from past shows in Calgary that really encapsulate the era. Posters from so many great venues in Calgary, the Westward Club, the Night Gallery, the Republic. Um, this is really a tribute to the music scene in Calgary in the 1990s. But it's not just music that's being given the mic here. Up until this point, I didn't have representation as an artist. Wayne Immonen is the artist in residence this month. It's a rotating spot. His art draping the walls to bring them alive. And Saturday will be his big show. People can purchase and enjoy his work, some of which is upcycled. I did some dumpster diving and I rescued about 50 albums. It's nice to have them seen in real life as opposed to just on my Instagram feed. So. On top of music and visual art, creators can bring forward their ideas and it probably won't be turned away. A poetry night or a Dungeons and Dragons night or open mic starting to really become a place where artists can, uh, can hang out. And of course, really great coffee. In Calgary, Taylor Brought, City News.